Hi friends and welcome back. This is Bhakti and you're watching Bhakti Diaries. Today um, I'm going to share uh, some uh, of my Singapore diaries with you. It's been a long time that I really needed to do this video and here it goes. Uh, I'm sharing uh, top things to do in Singapore and the first and the foremost that came to my mind was Chinatown. Yes, it's uh, weird but not so. Uh, this is the best Chinatown I have ever been to and it is really, really, really good. It's an amalgamation of colors, cuisine, flavors, uh, shopping and uh, artifacts and lovely souvenirs that you can buy. Uh, there is a heritage center, there are temples, there, is, there are spas. So it is like you have a bowl full of everything and you would enjoy it. Believe you me, you would enjoy this place. A uh, couple of hours won't do justice to this place. You really need to keep one day, complete one day for this place to go to. Uh, it, As I said, it's a must, must visit place and it ranks on the top 10 things to do in Singapore. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some quick uh, snippets of my time in Chinatown, what I did, what I recommend, uh, what you could uh, possibly leave out and what you must, 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 must do. So let's have a quick peek, shall we? Go. When we visited Chinatown, it was a new year and it is the year of the monkeys. So everywhere there were colorful decorations and monkeys sitting uh, everywhere. And it was so pretty. It was a pretty sight to behold. And the ever colorful Chinatown was way more colorful than it is always. Just have a look. They are so cute. Next up on our list was the Sri Mariamman Temple. This temple is the oldest Hindu temple in Singapore and uh, the architecture is inspired from uh, Hindu Tamil architecture. It's Tamil temples owing to the huge crowd of Tamilians residing in Singapore. Wherever you see, you will see a lot of deities, uh, dra dragons, you will see demons, you will see scriptures all over this temple. The temple is really beautiful and a big structure. If you come here in the afternoon, the main structure of the temple is closed, so make sure you visit in the morning hours or the evening hours. After seeing the Serene Temple, the next stop on our list was definitely shopping. Yes, we had shopping in mind and Chinatown is the best place to shop for souvenirs in the whole of Singapore. Yes. You want to take something back home to all your loved ones, for all your loved ones and what best place than Chinatown. Singapore is a very expensive city and shopping over here is really expensive. But at Chinatown, you'll get an amazing variety of souvenirs as low as one dollar each. And you have so many things to choose from. There are chopsticks, uh, there are fragrance sticks, there are essence sticks and uh, there are keychains, there are uh, chocolates, kaya chocolates and kaya jam and myriad variety and uh, amazing amazing collections of Chinese artifacts, um, the wind chimes, lanterns and many more things. What I suggest is you make a goodie bag and uh, pick up all your favorite stuff and this would be a definitely a personal gift to all those back home. One stop shop for all your tinty needs and goodies. Come here definitely. Next, the heritage centers. Take a look back in history, see how the Chinese lived, their history, the Chinese migrants when they arrived in uh, Chinatown. You will get to know everything right here. After full shopping bags, we were really tired and hungry and we decided to head on to the Chinatown Food Street. Yes, all roads lead there and we really went there. It is a Chinatown Food Street is an amazing paradise for food lovers. Food stalls thronged on both sides of the street and what you get is a wide variety of food at amazing prices and they are so yummy. 
The best way to choose a stall, see the rating of the stall. It is just written right next to the name of the stall. So now it's easy for to take your pick. We picked a nice big Indian meal, some chicken curry, biryani, and a big juicy leg, chicken leg, which was coated with amazing spices. We loved the meal. It was really good. After this huge meal, we settled in for a tiger beer. Yes, in Singapore, do as the Singaporeans do. Took our beer, a cold chill beer and just enjoyed the vibes of this place. After that, we did order ourselves chicken kung pao and hot and sour chicken which was really good along with a tall glass of iced Milo. Happy smiles and satisfied tummies. We really were good. These bylanes. Just love the vibe, the open air, the high ceiling. What else does one need? We really couldn't get enough of this place. And last but not the least, the sandwich ice cream. A big fat slab of ice cream amongst a colorful, between a colorful bread, courtesy ice cream uncle. I love this place. I just love this place. The next and the last stop on our list is the... Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. It's a Chinese Buddhist temple and it, it was recently constructed. Nevertheless, it is very popular among the tourists and people throng here every day to see this mesmerizing site. The temple also houses a museum and it's very popular. Look at us taking all touristy snaps. <laughs> we just can't get enough, can we? The architecture of this temple is really nice. You will see Chinese lanterns everywhere, the use of uh, red color and golden hues everywhere. Uh, the temple is so serene and tranquil. As soon as you enter this temple, you feel a feeling of peacefulness all over you. The temple is filled with the sand sticks, lamps, candles. Do not miss the miniature bottles of uh, different branded perfumes which are offered to the deities. I just flipped over them and I just wanted to have these bottles. Yes, these very bottles. Uh, all in all, our uh, Singapore Chinatown trip came to an end. We really loved this place. We could not get enough of this place. It's very easy to reach uh, Chinatown. You can just uh, hop in a cab or else you can uh, take an MRT which uh, lands right in the heart of Chinatown where the food street is. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. Uh, if there, if you have any queries regarding uh, Chinatown or where should you go or what you should shop or any other things you want to ask, please comment and ask right away. Please share your thoughts. Uh, it means a lot to me. Until we meet next time, stay cheerful, stay happy. Lot of love to you guys and always stay smiling. I love you guys. Share this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel and keep spreading the love.